guys, it's Rose with Rose Likes Crochet. How is everybody doing? It is Wednesday, July 7th, 2021, and I am on here for another Wings update. Um, my name is Rose. Like I said, I like yarn and I make stitch markers, so please go check out my Etsy shop and let me know if there's anything you like over there. I live in the Chicagoland area. I have one daughter. Her nickname is Carrots, and we have a whole bunch of animals, so we call this place the zoo. Now let me just clarify we only have one furry animal and it's a dog and he's a hunting dog so we can't have any other furry animals here. <laughs> so the rest of the animals are reptiles but they're all good. Anyway so uh, what we're doing this channel and you guys for 2020 as well as this year are doing a, a year-long charity donation for a domestic violence organization called Wings. They are based here in the Chicago area and I will have all of the links for them down below so you can go check them out. And what they're doing is they are requesting specific items um, per month and they are asking for us to make homemade items, which could be either crocheted, knitted, loom knitted, uh, hand sewn, uh, anything that is handmade for the item that they are asking for. And you can find that list down below in the description box as well. If you are part of the Facebook group, their list is there. Um, it is a pinned announcement, so go check that out. So what we have here today is we have some stragglers from June. So June was, uh, the item of the month for June was shawls. And the item of the month for July is stress balls. So that is what we are looking for uh, for this month, which is stress balls. And I have a total of 25 donations to show you today. So I'm not gonna show you packages or boxes. I'm gonna tell you who, they, who they're coming from and we'll show you the items so we can try and keep this um, not a two hour long video. <laughs> All right, so if you have any questions, please send me an email, roselikescrochet at gmail.com or leave a comment down below. I do respond to every single comment on every single video, unless it's a giveaway video and then I don't respond. Anywho, okay, so the first thing that, I'm, um, that I have, but I'm not gonna show you, is I have someone who is very local to me who um, donated in the past and um, I was able to go and pick up some donations from her this past weekend. And I'm not gonna show you the, don the donations, um, number one, because most of them are store-bought hats and scarves and we're not collecting those till August. And I'm not gonna show store-bought items because the whole purpose of this is to showcase your work. So um, I do appreciate it. Her name is Dawn and she actually is going to be on Facebook as uh, Yarn is a Sport. And there was some issue with the, the name, so it's actually Y-A-R-N-I-S-A, -S -A, and then the next word is sport. So if you wanna go check her out, I don't know how much content she has on there, um, but she donated three bags of of stuff, <laughs> so I do appreciate that. Um, one bag was also some little baby blankets, and baby blankets was uh, like two months ago, so I'm not gonna show those either. And she also sent me some beads, or she put in some beads and some charms and stuff like that in the bag. So Dawn, thank you so much uh, for the donations, and um, if you guys wanna go check her out, it's yarn is a sport, but yarn is a, is one word. <laughs> okay, so the first bag that I'm gonna show you today, or the first donation I'm gonna show you is from Jody Fink and she is from Pennsylvania and Jody sent me a card and it says you've been so kind and she says can't thank you enough for what you do for wings and then she says Rose due to health conditions ER visits and hospital stays my projects didn't make it to the post office so I have put them together in she put them together in one bag so she's got 25 hair scrunchies two headbands 12 hard headbands one diaper bag from Bag O'Day and one shawl. It is a basic crochet shawl from Crochet and Create Rose Pattern. Hope to make more of Wings projects from Jody Fink. Okay, so um, I'm gonna just show you the scrunchies and the headbands, the diaper bag and the shawl. And it looks like the shawl was made with Premier um, Just Yarn in worsted. So Jody, thank you so much and for sending all those and um, I hope that everything is okay with you. Okay, so here is the bag of headbands and here is the bag of hair scrunchies. This was I think April or May. So if you guys are watching this now, please don't send in any hair scrunchies or hair ties. There are some more 
Oh, those are so pretty. Thank you so much for those. And then it looks like here are some headbands and those are so pretty. They've got the little flowers on them. So Jody, thanks for holding on to those and sending those all when you had them. Okay, and then this is the bag she was talking about. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I'm sure they can use a diaper bag, but if you guys could please not send anything except for what the item of the month is, that would be great. And it feels like she's got plastic canvas on here. So that is beautiful. That will stand up so nicely and it's so pretty. Wow, Jody, I was not um, clever enough to make a diaper bag <laughs> when they were requesting it. Okay, here is the shawl and it is absolutely gorgeous. I don't know if I'm holding it. Here we go, I think this is the right way. Oh my gosh, and that Premier yarn worked up really, really nicely too. That is so pretty. So Jody, thank you so much for sending in all of those donations. I, again, hope that you are feeling better and I look forward to seeing what else you're able to donate. Okay, next. The next donation comes from Mary Kay Spencer and she is from Arkansas. There was no note in the bag and that's fine. <clears throat> so if you guys want to donate anything to Wings, you're more than welcome to just write Wings on the package. You don't have to include a note, um, that's totally fine. Um, I'll know that it's for wings. <laughs> All right, so here is the shawl and there's no note for what the pattern is, but it looks like a granny stitch and it's so pretty. Look at the border too. That's gorgeous. It's like a sparkly yarn on the border. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. Wow, so Mary Kay, thank you so, so much for donating that shawl. I really appreciate it. It's absolutely beautiful. Okay, next. The next bag came from M and I can't print, I can't read the last name and uh, they are from Ardmore, Pennsylvania and there was one shawl in the bag and this was what was with the shawl. It was made with Premier Yarns Alpaca Dance and it just says Wings 2021 on there. So I'm gonna actually keep that with it so they can have the care instructions on there. Oh my gosh, it's so soft and pretty. You guys can't even tell but it's just, oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Wow, thank you so much for donating this. Oh, it's so soft, you guys. <laughs> it's absolutely gorgeous. Thank you so, so much for sending in this shawl. I love it, thank you again. Okay, next. The next bag comes from Mary, and Mary is from Maryland. Hi, Mary. She sent a card. And she writes, Rose, thanks for your work with wings. These are a little heavy, but will be nice in the air conditioning. I hope they are useful. They have been washed from Mary. All right, so then she gives us what these shawls are. She says, both shawls are made with Karen Skinny Cakes. The Citron is made using a tutorial by Creative Grandma called Easy Tropical Breeze. So I believe that is this one. And oh my gosh, that's so pretty. Wow, and I love the border too. I don't know what my obsession is with borders. Maybe it's because I don't do them on my <laughs> shawls. Okay, and then she says, the other one is the tutorial done by Fiber Spider for the Easy Breezy Shawl. The color is Blueberry Pudding. Oh my goodness, this is so pretty. Look at that. Those are just beautiful. Mary, thank you so, so much for sending in these two shawls for wings. I absolutely love them and I really appreciate you donating. Okay, next. The next bag comes from T West from New York and there was a note in the bag and it had a copy of the label. It's a mandala cake and she says, hi Rose, no need to tell you what shawl this is. Winky wink face. I followed Fiber Spider's tutorial. The colorway is peacock. Please do not enter me for the giveaway. Okay, so um, for those of you who don't know, please go check out my last Wings update video. Um, we have thank you gifts uh, for every month for people who donate to Wings, and that could be anywhere from some yarn that's been donated, stitch markers, project bags, I have a goodie box, we have patterns, we have crochet journals, there's a whole bunch of stuff that has been that have been donated to me so that I can say thank you to you guys. So if you don't want to be entered for that giveaway, you can just let me know. Okay, so here is the shawl, and yes, we don't need to know what, we know what pattern this is, and it's beautiful, it's the virus shawl. Oh my gosh, the colors are so pretty. 
I absolutely love this. This is one of my favorite patterns. So T West, thank you so, so much for sending in that beautiful shawl. I absolutely love it and I appreciate you doing that. Okay, next. The next bag comes from Sandy French and she is from California and she sent in a card and she writes, hi Rose, thanks for all you do for wings and for the wonderful things you do on your channel. This is our first donation, but we plan to do more in future months. I've been teaching a 17 year old to crochet and this is her first shawl. She's doing so well. I marked both with the yarn used. Thanks again from Sandy French and Faith Rosas. Oh my gosh, Sandy and Faith, you guys are awesome. Okay, so we're gonna start with this one. This one has the shawl and the ball attached to it. And she writes, it's, she used one and a half balls and one of the mindful mauve and half of a feng shui. And it is called the boho shawl, the hat and eye on Etsy loosely followed. And this is the first shawl done by the 17 year old. Okay, you guys, this is awesome. I'm gonna take off the little thing here so I can show you guys. <gasps> Oh my gosh, yay, first time crocheter, and look at what a beautiful job she did. Oh my gosh, Faith, that is amazing. That's beautiful. Thank you so, so much for doing that and for donating your first project to Wings. Oh my gosh, that is awesome. Everyone, please leave a comment down below and just praise everyone, not just the people who are the first time doing this, but for experienced people too. That's You did a great job. Okay, the next one, it says no pattern. She just winged it. Long chain length, three rows, half double, two rows, single, two rows, double, skip, double, two rows, single, repeat a couple times and add fringe. <clears throat> That's her recipe for this one. <laughs> Okay, this is gorgeous too. This is a rectangle and it's got the fringe on it. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. And oh, the yarn she used is, what does this say? Annie's Hook and Needle. Um, and that's all it says. 60% cotton, 40% acrylic. So here is the rest of the shawl. And that's pretty good for winging it. I love it. It's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So Sandy and Faith, thank you so, so much for sending in those two beautiful shawls. I really, really love them. And thank you so much for donating your first ever shawl to Wings. It's very much appreciated. Okay, next. The next bag comes from Florence and she is from Florida. So hi Florence in Florida. And she sent me this really pretty card. And she writes, Dear Rose, Carrots, and the Zoo, thank you for all you do for Wings and also for allowing me the opportunity to contribute as well. I made this shawl using Karen Angel Cakes yarn. The pattern is the Trinity Shawl from Kristen Amdahl. I hope one of the ladies will enjoy wearing it as much as I enjoy crocheting it for her. Keep up the good work, Flo, Calma, and the boys. Carter the Golden Doodle and Quincy the Mutt, my two <laughs> rescues. Well, uh, I hope that Carter and Quincy were not too much of a bother for you while you were making this flow. <laughs> oh my gosh, rescues are the best. That's all I'm saying, guys. My dog is a rescue too, and he is, um, well, he's crazy, but he's, he's a good dog, so. Okay, so this is absolutely beautiful. I love it. Look at the edging. The only thing that would keep me from making it is that it looks like it's all triple crochets. <laughs> but it's so pretty. Oh my gosh. Flo, you are amazing. I love it. It's absolutely beautiful. So thank you to you and your rescues for sending in this beautiful shawl. I do appreciate it. Okay, next. The next bag comes from Peggy Marillo and she is from Nebraska. Hello, Nebraska. And there was no note in the bag, but that's fine. But here is the shawl that Peggy sent. And oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. Look at the rainbow on there and the pink on the bottom. Oh my goodness, Peggy, it, this is absolutely beautiful. I like the top the way that starts too. Oh my gosh, it is absolutely gorgeous. Thank you so, so much for sending this beautiful shawl. 
I really, really do appreciate it. Now remember, uh, you guys, you can send in one item, you can send in more than one item, you can send in zero items, you can donate locally. Uh, I think some things are starting to open up, so hopefully that will be an option for you. Uh, if you can't donate locally, leave a nice comment for the people who are sending in donations and maybe say a prayer for the people who are, are at Wings and anyone who else is in a domestic violence organization. All right, next. All right, so the next bag comes from Peg Chandler and she is actually from uh, another suburb here in Illinois and she does not have a note in there, but that is okay. She did send me a shawl and it looks like it was made with hipster cotton and oh my gosh, you guys, I just bought some of this yesterday. <laughs> I'm so excited to see this worked up. So she did send in one shawl and let me show you what it is here. There is no note in the bag, but uh, I'm thinking that this is that pattern by Hooked, on, Hooked by Robin that everyone else is sending in and I don't remember what the name of it is, but it's so pretty. I just love this. Peg, oh my God, did you write it on here? Okay, she did write it on here. Hooked by Robin Open Mesh Shawl. Okay, so that is the name of the pattern and it's beautiful. Oh my gosh, I love it. And then she just sent one of these pashmina scarves. It's store-bought. More importantly, thank you so much for making this for one of the ladies at Wings. We really, really appreciate it. Okay, next. So the next box comes from Kay and she is from Michigan. Hi Kay. She sent me a note, so I'm gonna read this to you. She says, hi Rose, I did attempt a couple more patterns but wasn't happy with my work. I did however accomplish two shawls and hopefully they can be used. The small lacy one is for a child or doll and the red one is for a small adult or teen. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the small one. The one that she said is meant for a child or a doll. Oh, it's so pretty. And she writes, the pattern is from Crystal at Vago Day, tutorial number 630. Okay, so here is that one. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty and so dainty. I love it. That would be perfect for a little girl. Oh my gosh, yes, it's beautiful. Okay, and then she says the red one is for a small adult or teen. And she says, no pattern followed. It's a simple C to C stitch with a shell border, 100% cotton thread. And that's from We Love Yarn. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. I love that. It's absolutely beautiful. Maybe I'm showing you the wrong side. Here we go. I absolutely love it. It's gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I love that red too. Okay, and then she writes, I have been wanting to send something for a long time now, so I cheated and bought a few light cover-ups. Hope that's okay. And uh, here are the cover-ups that she bought. So these are from the store. So there's one. Oh, that's cute. Thank you so much for all you do and for sharing with us your yarny friend, Kay. And she says, P.S. The trinkets are for you. So she sent me a whole little bag full of like little doodads and oh, looks like there's a pin there. So I will go through this later. Thank you so, so much, Kay, for sending that. You guys don't have to send me anything. I am, I'm, I'm so appreciative when you do send, but you don't have to. So thank you so, so much. Okay, next. The next box comes from Lynn Ann Moore and she is from Florida and she sent me a little pretty card and she writes, Rose, two more shawls for wings. Okay, the blue one is made of peaches and cream cotton. The pattern is the crochet wrap with, with cave, with, lo with love, cave. <laughs> crochet wrap with love by the crochet crowd okay so that's this one. Oh, that's so pretty oh, wow I love that oh my goodness Lynn and these this is so pretty like I never thought about using peaches and cream cotton on on a shawl because I always think of it as kitchen cotton but that's gorgeous oh my gosh okay and then she says the rainbow is another hooked by Robin and it's called the puff border shawl thank you for giving me the opportunity to contribute peace Lynn and oh that's so cool too now you guys probably can't see the pattern, but it starts out and then it's got like a little bit of a mesh and then it's solid. Oh my gosh, and look at the border. Can you guys see the border? 
Wow, that is so cool. It's puff stitch border, puff, the puff border shawl made with, I love this cotton. Okay, <laughs> it's gorgeous. Lynn, thank you so much for sending two more shawls. I really appreciate it. I know that the ladies at Wings are gonna appreciate it too. Okay, next. The next box comes from Tina Beard and she is also from a, uh, a little town in Illinois. So hi, Tina. She sent this card and she writes let's see she writes rose here are three shawls to bless the ladies at wings just feel festive shawl virus shawl by fiber spider and the v stitch granny by hooked by robin many blessings to you and carrots tina beard also known as flying hook crochet i have to go check that out okay so this bag had it says just feel festive on it so let me see if i can show oh i love this it looks like she used a mandala uh, and the color is Ghidorah. So she used that and that's a good deal on that yarn. That's for sure. Okay. So here is the Just Feel Festive. Oh, that's so pretty though. You guys Just Feel Festive shawl is by Kalisha at the Monday, uh, Quirky Monday Craft Cast. <laughs> you can just search Just Feel Festive and you'll find it. It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Okay. The next one she says is a virus shawl and she used Sugar Wheel Cotton from Yarn Bee. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Oh, I love this. Oh, it's absolutely gorgeous. I love, love, love it. Wow, Tina, you are awesome. And the next one is called the V-Stitch Granny. And she used Yarn Bee Delish Boutique. Okay, so that is this one. Oh, this is so pretty. And it's like soft and light and airy and green and beautiful. Wow, that is gorgeous. That's absolutely beautiful. Tina, thank you so, so much for sending these three shawls. I'm just amazed at all of your creativity and the fact that you guys have decided to donate to Wings, so I do appreciate it. Okay, next. So the next box comes from Kim Rogers, and she is known as Kim the Crafty Elephant Lady, although she might have changed her name. She does have a YouTube channel, but no content, but she is on Instagram, so go follow her over there. I actually got to meet her because um, we did a craft fair together a couple of years ago. So this first one that I'm gonna show you, oh, by the way, hi, Kim, <laughs> is uh, from, it's a mandala cake, and it's called Wood Nymph. And oh my gosh, this is so pretty. I love it. This looks like just a granny shawl. And grannies are not for grannies. I love them. That's so pretty. Okay, and then this one looks like is a Rio, a Rio yarn. And I don't see any other information on that. But anyway, so there's, the, oh no, yeah, that's this one. Rio with a seven millimeter hook. So there we go. And oh my gosh, that is so pretty. Kim, where'd you get this yarn from? Please let me know. It's really pretty. It's got purple and light blue in it and gray. Oh my gosh. Okay, this next one is also a mandala. And I don't know where, I'm pretty sure the ball band was here, but I don't know what happened to it. Okay, this is a granny as well. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Oh my gosh, I love the purples and I love your work. You did a beautiful job. And let's see here, this is another shawl. It looks like another granny. Oh, here's the ball band. That's from a Hirschner's Pastry Petite. That is so pretty. I love the color combination on this one too. So gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Oh, Kim, you're a machine. Okay, this next one was using Premier Bloom and uh, also a seven millimeter hook. So let's show you, I love this, it's so pretty. Oh, I love how that came out. I know I think you get it to look uh, more like a flower when you knit it, but I think that's gorgeous. Okay, so this one, uh, let's see, there's no ball band, but I'm pretty sure that is a mandala. That is another granny. Oh my gosh, I love the black in there. That's so pretty. Okay, here is another one. <laughs> this is what happens when I don't meet up with you, right? You just sit and crochet uh, shawls. They're so pretty. Oh my God, each one is better than the next. Better than the next. 
gosh, I love that. All right, here is another granny. Oh, that's so pretty. I love the aqua on that one. And then we have this one here, which is Hobby Carnival. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. It's a little mini one for a little girl. Oh, that is so precious. So precious. Okay, and then we have two more here. This one is also using a Hirschner's Pastry Petite. The color is Lil Peanut. And here is this one. Oh my gosh. Kim, you are a machine. That's it, it's established. You are the shawl machine. And then this one, it looks like it is a rectangular one. Oh, that's really cool. This reminds me of like a beach cover-up, but obviously it's not a beach cover-up. That is so pretty. That's so pretty. Kim, thank you so, so much for sending all of these beautiful shawls and doing all of that work and um, hit me up. So we need to definitely get together um, soon. <laughs> okay, next. The next box comes from Chloe and she is from Wisconsin. That's my neighbor to the north. And oh my gosh, so this was on the back of the envelope. So pretty. The mascot, I guess, for wings is a butterfly. And uh, so she put a butterfly, that's so pretty. And then um, Paper Baker Creations. I wonder if you made that homemade, it's so pretty. Um, that's the card. And then she, oh, it's like sewn on the inside. Can you guys see that? That is so cool. Okay, Rose, since I was sending this shawl for the charity, I wanted to include a gift for you. I hope you can use these coasters. Thank you so much for doing this great work for others. It's truly an amazing thing, and I'm so thankful to be a part of it. Your yarny friend, Chloe. Okay, so here is the card that she put in there. Coco's Crochet Goodies. Is it my Etsy shop? So I'll leave that up there for a second. So go check her out. And it, she left the ball band in there. That's a mandala cake called Valkyrie. And then she put it in nice tissue paper for wings. <laughs> so let me open this up. So here is the shawl and it's beautiful. Oh, I absolutely love the design. Looks like a honeycomb. So pretty. Wow, okay, and then she's got this and it says it's a gift for you. So let's see um, if we can open this up. She says it was coasters. Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> they are little purple coasters. Oh my gosh, I love them. I'm gonna use them today. I love them. Chloe, thank you so much for sending the shawl and for these adorable little coasters. I really do appreciate it. You are so, so sweet. All right, next. The next box comes from Anita and she also goes by Crafty Violet and she is from California and she sent me this thank you card. You guys are so sweet. All right. Hey Rose, I guess these are better late than never. Such a great cause. Thank you for doing this. I so enjoy your channel hugs from Anita. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the shawl that she sent because that's what we were collecting for June. And it's so pretty, you guys. It's more of like a minty green. Oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous. I just love it. Oh, thank you so much. And then she sent some makeup bags. And I think those were from like April. And then she sent some hair ties and scrunchies too. So Anita, thank you so much for sending all of these items. I really, really appreciate it. And I'm glad you were able to get them in the mail. So thank you so, so much. Okay, next. So the next box comes from Janice and she's from North Carolina and she sent me a card. Hello sunshine. And she writes, hi Rose. Thank you so much for continuing this wings experience for this year. It's so beautiful what we can do together. And I love watching everyone's contributions with each wings update. I'm so excited to finally be able to contribute. Sincerely, Janice Mays. Thank you so much Janice for sending these in. She sent in five shawls and I'm going to show you and I love 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 the colors oh my gosh look at that oh my gosh like I need a black light I think I need a black light for this it's so pretty Janice let me know what yarn this is because it's gorgeous and then she made another one in that same yarn oh my gosh or if anyone knows what yarn this is let me know because it's really pretty Okay, so it looks like this is a like a Just Feel Festive shawl. It's a little bit of a mini one, but still so pretty. Oh my gosh, I love this. Janice, you are the bomb. 
Here is a virus shawl. So, so pretty. Oh my gosh. I love that too. That looks like a mandala cake, but I could be wrong. And then we've got two more. And here is this one. Oh, it's so cute. This would be for like a teen, like a teen or a little girl too. That's so pretty. I love the, the way it, um, ombre. <laughs> words today, guys, words. <laughs> and then here, oh my goodness gracious. This is stunning. So you guys, it's all reds and it's like a, it looks like it's a number one yarn and it looks like just a granny. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Wow, thank you so, so much for sending in all of these beautiful shawls. I absolutely love them and I'm so glad that you were able to contribute to Wings and I do appreciate it. Okay, next. So the next box was huge and it's from Barbara S because I can't pronounce her last name. Well, I could if I really tried, but I don't want to try. <laughs> Barbara S, you're awesome. She's from Georgia. As far as I could tell, there was no note in the box, but that's okay because they're all shawls. So I know exactly what they're for. And I'm just going to start showing you them because there's a lot and they're so pretty. You guys have to see these. <gasps> oh my gosh, look at that. That's a mandala cake. I love like the way the bottom is rounded. It's so pretty. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, and this looks like, I don't know, is this like, this is a shawl in the ball, I think, or a shawl in the cake or whatever you wanna call it. And it's like fuzzy and soft. Oh my gosh. Okay, so that's like the same colorways. That's gorgeous. Oh my gosh. And look at the bottom. The bottom is granny stitch. Holy smack rolls. That is so pretty. Barbara, what is the pattern? Did you make that up? Or is like, can I follow a tutorial for that? <laughs> All right, here is another one. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty too. That is a mandala cake, I know. Oh my gosh, I love these. Oh my gosh, okay, so this one looks, feels like it's made out of like a cotton. And that is so pretty. This, I think we had someone else donate one of these and it was called like the pineapple something. It's so pretty. Okay, here is another blue one. And that just looks like a granny. So gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. There are so many colors that these ladies can choose from for their shawls, it's awesome. Okay, so check this one out. That's a big fat granny right there. Oh, that's like got four stitches in it. That's so cool. Oh my gosh, I love that. Wow, Barbara, you are incredible. Okay, here is, this also feels like a cotton blend something. And that looks like, like double crochets and then granny and then double crochets and then granny. And that's so pretty. I love the pink and gray together. It's absolutely gorgeous. And then we've got one more. Oh my gosh, this is so sparkly. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see the sparkle. <gasps> Wow, look at that. Oh my gosh, Barbara, you're a machine too. You guys are all machines and I love it. And they're beautiful. And you guys are incredible. Thank you so, so much, Barbara, for donating all of these shawls. I just I can't wait to bring them this next batch. <laughs> okay, so we have two more boxes with shawls and then I have a few boxes with stress balls in it. So hang on. So the next box comes from Tammy Neal and she's from Ohio and she sent me a little note. Hi Rose, here are three small shawls. One is Bag o Day, one is Fiber Spider and one from Yarnspiration. I didn't keep good notes. Thank you for what you do for wings. Hugs from Tammy. Aw, Tammy, that's okay. All right, so here is the first one. Oh, that's so pretty. It would help if I showed you the right way, right? <laughs> so here is the first one. You guys, it's like blues and yellows. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Okay, this must be the one from Fiber Spider because, or maybe it's not. This is a knitted shawl and that's beautiful. Oh my goodness. That's gorgeous, Tammy. You are bi-stitual, huh? That's just beautiful. Okay, and then here is the last one. Oh, it's butterflies. I don't know if you guys can see the butterflies. That's so pretty. Oh, and look at the edging. Oh 
my gosh, Tammy, thank you so, so much for donating all three of these gorgeous, gorgeous shawls. I absolutely love them. If you could tell me what yarn you used for this, that would be awesome. Oh my gosh, they're beautiful. Thank you so much, Tammy. Okay, next. The next box comes from Joanne Russo, and she is also from a suburb not too far from me. And she wrote me a note, and she says, <laughs> the note says, I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> just says that on here. <laughs> she writes, hi Rose, I hope this arrives on time. I forgot to save the ball wraps and I don't remember the pattern, sorry. Anyway, I went crazy making shawls, lol. It was fun making them, thanks Joanne. <laughs> Joanne, you're so funny. I need to get that note set. <laughs> okay, so it looks like this one is using like a Karen Ripple cake or something. It's so pretty. It's definitely a cotton blend and it's absolutely gorgeous. And Joanne, it's okay if you don't know the pattern, it's fine. <laughs> okay, here is another one that is yellow and this just looks like a granny. So hopefully you guys can just Google grant or you know, YouTube search granny shawl. I'm sure you'll find a lot of them. That one is so pretty. And then here is another one. Oh my gosh, it's like all pastels. Look at how pretty that is. Oh my goodness. And then you guys have to see the, the border on that. So pretty. Oh my God, and it looks so simple too. I love the pastel -y colors on that one. Okay, I mean, I like them all, but the last one I'm gonna show you is probably my favorite. <laughs> okay, I love the way the color pulled on this one. That's so neat. Wow, I love it. I'm pretty sure I'm holding that wrong. I don't know, however you guys wanna see it. It's so pretty. Okay, and here is the last one, and it looks like this is shawl in a ball, and it's purple, and it's beautiful, and I love it. So Joanne, thank you so, so much for sending all of those beautiful shawls. I really appreciate it. You guys are incredible. Um, for those of you watching who, um, might question whether or not you can still send them please do not send any more shawls they have probably over 300 right now um, and they are good to go they don't want any more shawls so if there's some stragglers that's fine but don't don't ship out anything now if, if it has a shawl in it okay let's get to the stress balls so the first package i got with stress balls in it is from erica and she is from wisconsin and she sent this card and she says hi rose here is july's stress balls thank you for everything you do love your yarny friend erica crafty and i think she has a youtube channel so i'll link her down below so just so you guys know if someone sends stress balls and they're in a bag i'm not going to take them out of the bag i'm just going to show you them in the bag but these are so cool because they look like little footballs and it looks like they're made with the blanket yarn so those are so cool and they're squishy <laughs> Erica, thank you so much for sending these awesome uh, stress balls. This is exactly what they're looking for. Any size, any shape, um, handmade stress balls. They're perfect. So thank you so, so much, Erica. Okay, next. The next box comes from Judy Friedman, and she's from Virginia. And she sent a card. She put a whole garbage bag in here full of stress balls. <laughs> Here's the card. And she writes... Howdy Rose, these stress balls are mostly experimental with some experiments turning out better than others. It was fun. The lemon ones were made following Twinkie Chan's pattern from the Craft Yarn Council. Hugs to all your yarn loving friend, Judy. Okay, there are the lemon ones. They're so cute. And I can't really hold up the bag because it's it's a garbage bag and it's, um, it's not see-through. But there's three, there's six, there's eight, there's 10. Oh my gosh, that's perfect. And then with the lemon ones, that's 12. So Judy, thank you so much for sending all the stress balls. They're so cool. Experimental or not, like the whole point is to have something in your hand to squeeze to relieve some stress. So you guys, these are perfect. Even these big ones. I mean, they're squishy, so it's okay if they're big. I really, really appreciate that, Judy. Thank you so much. Okay, next. So the next box comes from Linda S. And she is from Florida. And I also call her my fairy yarn sister because she always sends me yarn. There was no note in the box, but that's okay because you guys can see what it is. It is all stress balls all the time. So these are the larger ones. I'll show you. They're so cool. And the cool thing about stress balls is you can make them with scrap yarn. And you can even stuff them with the ends of your yarn that you know you cut off when you're done with the project. 
so these are absolutely look at that one that's perfect i love that so she sent big ones and then she sent little baby ones they're little tiny ones for little hands so these are awesome linda thank you so much for sending all of these um handmade stress balls they're just perfect i love them thank you so much okay next so you guys, I got two boxes from the same person and they're both filled with stress balls. And they're, um, let me just see here. One of them is in a bag and one of them is not. So she did leave me a note and the note says, and it's from Gloria, by the way, her last name begins with an S and I can't pronounce it. So <laughs> Gloria, you know who you are. She writes, this is my first time making these. I used Jada and Crochet Nurse patterns. Hope they work. I made different sizes. And Gloria already sent in a whole box of stress balls already. So Gloria, you are rocking these stress balls. Okay, this one came in a bag. So let me show you the bag. So this was in one box and it is all different types of yarn and sizes and patterns. And these are absolutely awesome and perfect. Oh my gosh. Gloria, you are a stress ball queen. That's for sure. I need to get going on some of these too. So this is this was what was in one box. All right, so here are a couple of, <laughs> of these stress balls. They're so cool. Look at how big that one is. And it's like blanket yarn and sparkly yarn and it's cotton yarn and it's whatever scraps you guys have. They're so, so cool. That is so awesome. Gloria, thank you so much for sending both of those boxes of stress balls. That was awesome. I just love them. I need to go through my scrap yarn now. Okay, we have one more box and it actually came from Amazon. And let me see if I can tell you who it's from. All right, so there was a note that says, Hi Rose, here are a total of 12 stress balls for wings. July is very busy for me and I thought this was a better option and leave me time to start with August donations. Thanks from Natalie D'Amico. Oh, Natalie, thank you so much. Oh my gosh. So I'm not gonna open them because I don't know if they're plastic inside there, but she sent three packages. It feels like four stress balls in each package. So Natalie, thank you so, so much. You didn't have to do that. I really appreciate you sending these from Amazon, but for everyone else, please do not ship any more stress balls from Amazon. So Natalie, thank you so, so much for sending those stress balls. Okay guys, that's it. This is a crazy long video again, and um, I gotta go get these shawls packed up and ready to go to wings. I'm super excited. So just as a reminder, this month is stress balls. So guys, anything like this with scrap yarn, any size, any way you wanna do it, any pattern, knitted, loom knitted, however you wanna do it. And then please, August is for hats and scarves and cowls. Um, if you are not sure what you should be sending in you can always send me an email um, keep in mind the care instructions um, I don't know that people have room to lay flat um, you know hand wash and lay flat to dry so just keep that in mind so that's it I hope you guys have a great rest of your week and we'll talk to you soon bye